Hi guys, it's Teddy A, aka Badman, aka Teddy Lunsoro, aka Teddy A for the girl them, aka Teddy A no take nonsense, you understand, based on one or two, I'm right here chilling with Olori Super Girl. Well, my career started about uh, the year 2014, um, I got signed in 2014 and um, I've been pushing, you know, doing a lot in the music scene. Um, I'm a singer, I'm a model, I'm a host, um, I'm a father, yes. So yeah, um, I'm a, a bags of a bags of talent, you know, rolled into one. Um, my drive, pretty much, is is my career in music, which is what I'm really, you know, known for. I love to sing. I can dance. I'm a songwriter. I'm also looking to produce. I act. Um, I'm a voiceover artist. I'm a host. I'm also a model, fashion guru, <laughs> any way you want to call it. But yeah, that's pretty much me. The auditions. How I got to hear about the auditions was through um, commercials on TV. I had seen one of the commercials last year and I had it in mind to go, but then I was in the studio and I forgot there was an audition going on and it skipped my mind. But then I, I made a resolution within myself that I would go for the next audition. And um, I kept you know, looking forward to it. I kept researching it online. I kept looking for the commercials on TV when it would come on because I wasn't sure exactly when that would be. My plan was to go back to the U.S. because uh, that's where I used to live before moving back to Nigeria in 2015 permanently. But yeah, I um, was following the progress of the show from the last season to this one, and I told myself that I would be on the show. Um, if I, it, it was it was a great feeling um, being picked for the show because a lot of people, I think about 7,000 people, auditioned for Big Brother. And I was destined to be part of the 20 that got picked for the house because I feel like in life, nothing happens by chance. You make your own luck, but you have to work or walk towards your luck you know, before you can make it happen. Yeah. Yeah, my experience in the house was, was crazy, man. I mean, because you have to worry about, you know, having to listen to a certain voice every day. You have to work out at a certain time every day. I'm not, I'm not a morning person. I love to work all night and then have some time to sleep in the morning towards the afternoon and then I do it all over again. It, sounds, it might sound boring, but <clears throat> that's my life and that's what I've been used to. So being in the house, man, it was, quite, it was quite hectic at first, but then I got used to it. The human mind and the human body is able to adjust to any situation you know, it finds its, itself in. So, um, yeah, I, I was able to adapt quickly, and it was fun. Um, when I got paired with, ni with Nina, it was it was fun because it was quite different. Nina, at at first, was a person who was in her shell. So I kind of always told her about confidence, self confidence. Self confidence is key. The way you carry yourself is the way others will carry you. So I kind of instilled that mentality in her and you know um she's still in the house today i'm out but she's still in i don't regret it you know it's just three weeks to go right now i'm, I'm ready to push uh you know move on with my career and see what i can make out of it and then when i got paired with bam bam everything changed you know the whole game changed for me because i didn't plan on being romantically involved with her but it happened and you know that's that uh, we're focused on our careers. That's why we got in the house in the first place. And the fame we were looking for, we have it. The platform we were looking for, we got it. And we want to move on from there. I'm very passionate about my craft. You know, that's one thing the housemates loved about me. They knew I didn't play with music. I feel like I was born for it. I have a tattoo of it on my, on my left arm. So when you see me, you be like, ah, this guy must be a musician, you know. I love music. I live for music, you know. Once I hear it, it just takes me to a different place. I always constantly hear it in my head, and once I do, I just want to write it down. 
I love creating music, so I'm, I'm a great songwriter. A lot of the songs you guys heard in the house doing our tasks, you know, I compose majority of them. From bing, be, bing, be, you need love, but it comes with a price. Um, make you know what you're trying, let it go and love yourself. To plan and well, make you plan and well. I got make you use flex condom, plan and well. Make you plan and well. You don't say love, no be sex, so. To eh, faro, 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 man. <laughs> Uh, you know, say I be fly boy, Faro man. I go fly you around the world, girl, Faro man. Yeah, so I could have, I could have easily written that song for myself, but I, for me, music is, is you can't, you can't, you can't take out my brain, you know, and take out what I already know or what my passion is or what my inspiration is. You can't live inside my head, so I feel like I can write that song for you and still write something better in the studio. And I'm so glad that people saw that side of me in the house. And right now I have offers, you know, to be featured by Olami D, Inyaya, Bisola, uh, Davido, you know. And there's many more to come. You know, so I love it. Don Jazzy is on I mean, come on. What else what else am I looking for? You know, so I have I have every reason to be grateful, every reason to be thankful. You know, for the for, for what's you know coming up in the future. Honestly, man, um, already had a situation with Yanya where I recorded a song in the past, but I never dropped because of my label situation. They didn't like the song, but then he did, and I was caught up in the middle. I couldn't drop the song. I didn't know what to expect while I was in the house, of course, because I didn't know what was happening on the outside. But then when I came out. I went on my social media, I saw, phew, I was like, what? Is this the love I'm getting? You know, it made me feel good. And then I didn't ask these people for, for collaborations. They offered them. It makes me happy. It lets me know I was doing the right thing. The main reason why I wanted to be in there, I achieved it. I let the world know that, look, I have a talent. I'm a brand you can push. You know, uh, you can invest in me if you're a company. You won't lose. You know, it made me feel good. I was happy. And I thank Big Brother for that opportunity because it could have been given to anyone else. There are other way better looking, way more talented, you know, better behaved people out there. But I was chosen, you know, and for me, it's, it's, it's a very, very wonderful experience. I'm, I'm just happy. You don't know how I feel. You know, getting off the plane and then seeing people at the airport with with branded trucks with my pictures on them like uh banners we had a rented limo to pick me up i didn't pay for all that you know it was done by the fans and big ups to all the fans man um big ups to don jazzy big ups to juliette ibrahim big ups to nobuligwe big ups to run town big ups to fino um big ups to uh so many people that I can't even remember from the top of my head who were rooting for me, you know, and they just love the fact that this guy represented the industry the best possible way. I'm human. Anything that happened in the house, other than me portraying my true self and, you know, me letting the world know that I'm a talented singer and songwriter, actor, model, it's just, just you being a human being, you know. I'm, I'm happy. I'm grateful. I'm eternally grateful. Um, and I'll definitely make a video you know, later, later in the day to thank everyone once again, all the fans. Shout out to God for making it possible um, because it wasn't easy. Shout out to those in the diaspora, all the way to China, um, Australia, the UK, USA, Uganda, Kenya, South Africa, Botswana. They were all showing love. I really appreciate it. It wasn't a strategy, it's the truth. I mean, the tr it was a fact. It wasn't a myth. It wasn't a strategy. It was something that was, you know, factual. And I just wanted to let that be known so when people find out later, won't be like, oh, this guy lied, you know. So, yeah, it wasn't a strategy. It was just me being real. And everything I've ever done in the house was to be real. You know, a lot of people will be like, oh, he was smoking cigarettes, blah, blah, blah. 
I know why I was smoking my cigarettes because I don't want to get into fights. I don't want to get into arguments. That's not who I am. You have to push me to the limit for me to get to that point. I feel like I'm mature enough to handle situations. But then if I know, ah, these same people, I fight with them. Now, them I go still can't see again. Guys do task with to win wager. You guys fake. I'm like, I'd rather just be myself and be chill. I'm a chill person. I don't like wahala. I call myself a gentle giant. Unless you mess up with me, where you try find trouble, now you go come and say, ah, this guy, you shouldn't mess with this guy. But other than that, I'm a cool guy. I'm a cool cat. You know, I never had any major fights with anyone in the house. You know, I didn't come up with a strategy of, oh, yeah, I have a girlfriend. It was just the fact. That was what it was. I don't have a particular person in mind. I feel like people should not be sentimental. People should not be judgmental. Vote for the right person and the right person will win. Careers. Yeah, our careers. That comes first before anything. Yeah, um, for me, it's... It's quite obvious, Bam Bam is not just somebody who oh, I was romantically involved in. I see a lot of potential in her. I see, I see greatness in her, you know. And um, for me, I felt she needed some kind of guidance, and I provided her with that. Self-confidence, self-reassurance, um, being that person she could talk to about almost anything. So being her best friend. You know, a lot of people really didn't see that side. Maybe they did. Kudos to everyone who did. Because for me, I felt like, as a woman, you know, when you feel like you have your back against the wall and everyone is, you know, having a negative opinion about you, you need that one person that will be like, yo, snap out of it. It's not that serious. You are who you are. You're here for a reason. And you were chosen for a reason. So I felt like I needed to constantly remind her that, look, you're good enough to be here. Don't let anyone make you feel otherwise. Don't let them make you think, you're fake and then you're gonna buy into the idea of being fake no come on girl you have an amazing voice you can act you've done major things a lot of these girls haven't even done so you just need that that little nudge to push you to the next level so we, we pretty much helped each other you know let's be factual we helped each other and truthfully yes i can help her because um i would always say uh bam bam you know I see you being another Niniola. You have a powerful voice. The industry, the way it is, for women, is very hard to break in. So you need to come out with a, with a sound that everyone can relate to, that everyone can catch on to, and know that is you. You know. So I said, yeah, definitely, when I get out, I would love to help you. I would love to help you write some songs. I would love to help you, you know, improve on your vocal coaching, you know, improve on your vocal lessons, you know, and I would definitely do that. We're friends, you know, regardless of whatever happens. First and foremost, our families have to feed. We have to feed. We can't be forming a relationship out here and then there's no money in our pockets. Who don't want help? You know, so that's basically what it is. I have no regrets because people, people um, got to see me in situations that they would never see me in in real life. Because that's like you in your house with a camera watching you. Things you don't do outside that you're hiding or that, you know, there are little uh, self-conscious things you do at home that you wouldn't do outside. People are seeing everything. So I feel like um, I don't regret anything. Everything that, everything that happened in there was predestined, you know. However the situations played out was predestined. You're just walking right into the path. And if you walk into it the right way, fine. If you don't walk into it the right way, then it's up to you because you didn't act right. But I felt I did everything I was supposed to do. I did the right things. If I did things differently, if I did things the wrong way, that would cause me major regrets. We won't, have, we won't be getting as much love as we're getting right now. We wouldn't be getting it. You know, and I'm, I'm loving every minute of it. I really appreciate everyone out there. Yes, shout out to Olori Supergirl. Shout out to Bella Nigeria, Linda KG, um, Pulse Nigeria, um, everyone. Shout out to my manager, Oye Kamwilwe, my mom, my godmother, Mrs. Do. Um, shout out to everyone. My baby mama, you know, um, my son, of course. I saw videos of him dancing. You know, my brother, my older brother, my lawyer, um, lawyer Fakeye, 
my international manager, um, Richie Kuzi, all the way in the USA, my boss, Biggie Entertainment, Anderson Obiagu, once again, Juliette Ibrahim, Yule Doce, um, Ron Town, Skibi, uh, everyone in the industry, Bisola, you know, what else could I have asked for? OBO, they may not have tweeted, but I know they spent money. I know Fino spent money on my campaign, you know. I didn't win the money, but it was for a good cause. And look at me now, they can say, ah, Teddy don't blow. You know, so I'm happy. I'm really, really happy.